From rockets to space age trucks, Elon Musk's brand has promised all sorts of weird and wonderful inventions over the years. And this latest edition is certainly the weirdest. But the internet doesn't seem to think it's the most wonderful. At Tesla's AI Day event, Musk announced that the company is working on a Tesla bot, a humanoid robot designed to do boring, repetitive, and dangerous work. Yup, it seems like we could be inching closer to the likes of films such as iRobot, complete with eerily human character design. During the AI Day presentation, Musk claimed that the Tesla bot will probably launch next year and will stand about 5 feet 8 inches tall and weigh 125 pounds. Musk claims the bot will be capable of tasks such as repairing cars or even heading to the shop to pick up your groceries. We should be worried about the AI, Musk reiterated during a question and answer session after the presentation. What we're trying to do here at Tesla is make useful AI that people love and is unequivocally good. One particular slide said the Tesla bot would eliminate dangerous, repetitive, boring tasks. And Musk provided an example suggesting the robot could be told to go to the store and get the following groceries. Not that such a task is particularly dangerous, but you might find it repetitive and boring. And he said it will be able to accomplish extremely complex and challenging tasks for a robot, such as obeying an order to pick up a bolt and attach it to a machine with a wrench. So far, so sci-fi. But it's important to remember that Tesla's grandiose announcements, such as the literally smashing Cybertruck launch, don't always translate to the real world. The Cybertruck, for example, has already been subject to multiple delays and redesigns. And just like the Cybertruck, the internet has reacted to the Tesla bot with something of a raised eyebrow. Many have pointed out that creating human-like robots has never ended well in fiction. Others, meanwhile, have mocked specific design details such as an unimposing height, as well as the obviously terrifying prospect of sentient robots trapezing around the grocery aisle. We're also a little dubious about Musk's ambition to launch the first prototype of the Tesla bot in 2022. Raj Rajkumar, professor of electrical and computer engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, told Rudders that he can safely say that it will be much longer than 10 years before a humanoid robot from any company on the planet can go to the store and get groceries for you, implying that Musk's plan of releasing a robot can do such would take longer than this year. That said, this is by no means the first slightly terrifying glimpse of the future we've been given over the last few months. From new ads in old movies to Facebook's scary topography deepfakes, there's no shortage of ambition in the world of AI right now. The robot's appearance came after a 90-minute presentation detailing some of the artificial intelligence upgrades driving Tesla's electric vehicles, including the Dojo supercomputer, which helps train cars to navigate city streets without human assistance. It makes sense to put that on humanoid form, Musk said. Three slides detailed the robot's proposed specifications, and Musk made sure he pointed out that you could both outrun the Tesla bot and overpower it. He has, in the past, rallied against the use of robots as weapons and warned of the risks AI might impose, once calling it the biggest risk we face as a civilization. Maybe if they're incredibly slow, easy to overpower robots, the dangers are reduced. Musk, prone to making bold statements about the future, riffed a little on how he envisions the Tesla bot changing the future of work, too. This, I think, will be quite profound, he said. Essentially, in the future, physical work will be choice. If you want to do it, you can do it, but you won't need to do it. Why a human form? It's intended to be friendly and navigate a world built for humans, and at only 125 pounds and with a carrying capacity of 45 pounds, it won't be a military or industrial threat. Top speed will only be 5 miles per hour, and lifting capacity with outstretched arms is only 10 pounds. The Tesla bot will deadlift 150 pounds, however, it will have human-level hands, a screen on its face for useful information, and 40 electromechanical actuators, 12 in the arms, 2 in each the neck and the torso, 12 in the legs, and 12 in the hands. Musk framed it as a logical step for the innovative car company. Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are semi-sentient robots on wheels, Musk said. With the full self-driving computer, the interface engine on the car, which will keep evolving, obviously, Neural nets, recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, it kind of makes sense to put that into a humanoid form. Tesla Bot will use Tesla's full self-driving computer, autopilot cameras, and the company's full suite of AI tools, neural net planning, auto labeling for objects, simulation capability, and more. 
It will be interesting to see if investors agree this is a logical next step. Either way, it seems to be coming. The Tesla bot will be real, Musk said at the company's AI event today. We think we'll probably have a prototype next year. That does not sound like a huge level of certainty, and it's not smart to take Tesla's, or Musk's, timeline as gospel. But it's also not smart to underestimate the company's innovation and abilities, nor must strive to create new technology and capability. The Tesla bot is set to include the autopilot computer used in the company's electric cars, which will allow the humanoid to recognize real-world things. Tesla's autopilot cameras would be fitted in the front seat of the bot's head, and its inner workings will be powered by the company's full self-driving computer. It's not exactly in Tesla's major mission directive of speeding the expansion of renewable energy, but making a humanoid robot capable of interacting with the environment and assisting in a variety of ways is a highly important thing for the globe. But the robot will have its own customized sensors and actuators. However, even with all these exciting updates and news from Elon Musk, there are still a lot of unsolved problems the company has to tackle before it can safely manufacture the AI Tesla bots. The challenge for Tesla, of course, is that its full self-driving feature has been delayed for years and still isn't ready for prime time. Betas of the software have been released to a few thousand Tesla owners, and videos of the system in operation show cars driving reasonably much of the time, but making poor choices frequently enough to be concerning. In one example, a car makes a sudden swerve into the right lane before taking a planned left turn. In another, a car attempts to drive into an open hole surrounded by construction cones. Tesla will face more difficult challenges in developing a robot. While the company currently relies on humans behind the wheel to help train its full self-driving feature, turning the wheel or tapping the brakes when the computer does something wrong, it won't have that same luxury with a humanoid robot. Some people have the patience to train a car because they have to sit behind the wheel anyway and because of the dire consequences if the computer makes a poor choice. But far fewer people will have the patience to train a robot to perform mundane, low-stakes tasks like selecting an apple at the grocery store, for example. Without thousands or millions of humans voluntarily training Tesla robots, the learning process will be exponentially more difficult. What will the Tesla robot cost? What will you need to spend to own your own Tesla robot? Musk has not released a price, so there is rampant speculation online about the possible price tag for the Tesla bot. SoftBank Robotics offered its home companion Pepper humanoid robot for around $1,800 before halting production earlier this year. But with Tesla's advanced technology, many are predicting that their robot could cost $10,000. There may also be a one-time upfront fee to buy the robot and then a hefty monthly subscription fee. It's hard to say how far off such a future might be, but there's a huge gap between showing off a few PowerPoint slides and delivering an actual working humanoid robot. It's probably going to be a long while before you get your bread and milk via the Tesla bot, but Musk said a prototype will likely be ready next year. Now that you've watched this video, let us know what you think about the Tesla bot in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.